consider a sheet of orange paper whose open top box is to be made. The dimension of this paper is 12 by 12 inch. An open top box is to be made by cutting small congruent squares from the corners of a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of paper and bending up the sides. Let us cut x by x square inch in every corner of this paper sheet. The total length is 12 inch and the remaining part will be 12 minus 2x inch. Now the question is, how large should the squares cut from the corners be to make this box hold as much as possible? In other words, what size corners maximize the box's volume? To determine the maximum volume, let us calculate the volume first. The volume is length times breadth times height. And it will be the function of x. Since the sides of the sheet of paper are only 12 inch long, maximum value of x can only be 6, so x must be less than or equal to 6. You can even check the volume of x at 6. It will be 0. If you plot the graph at volume, you can obtain the following curve. It will suggest a minimum value of 0 at x equals 0 and x equals 6 and a maximum value near x equals 2. It seems the volume is maximum at x equals 2. Let us verify this by derivative. At maximum and minimum value, the slope should be horizontal or derivative should be equal to 0. The derivative is 0 at x equal to 2 and x equals 6. Of the two zeros, x equals 2 and x equals 6, only x equals 2 lies in the interior of the function domain and makes the critical point list. The values of v at this one critical point and two endpoints are Hence, the maximum volume is 128 cubic inch. The cutout squares should be 2 inch on a side. Congratulations! You just applied simple derivative in real world and determined the maximum volume. Be happy! And please, subscribe for more videos like this.